Okay, I can explain. Um, <laughs> um, I did not commission that. I, I did not commission that. I swear, I crossed my heart. That's Bu Bu doing it all on her own. <clears throat> oh, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Just bear with me just a second. Yeah, it's, it's marvellous, isn't it? Um, sorry, I woke up this morning to find that the uh, the Twitter artist uh, Bu Bu Dingo had sent me that via private message. And it's that's, that's really something, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! <clears throat> I show it to Lu. Oh no, Lulu, what's this? What's that? What's that on the screen? Huh? What's that? Are <laughs> you growling at it? Look, what's on the screen? <laughs> She's growling at it. I said, Can you hear that? She's going grrr when she sees it. It's you. Look, it's you. <laughs> what? what you, don't you like it? It's you. Is it the eyes? Do you reckon she sees like a pair of eyes on the screen and she's like, what's that? <laughs> she's getting really worked up. Um, right, cool. Anyway, uh, good morning, folks. So, uh, oh, hang on, covered in toast crumbs. Oh, I'm going to burp. <clears throat> oh, right, okay. Yes, so uh, hello there. I hope you're all well. I hope you're having a lovely Thursday. Uh, so over here, uh, basically, I'm, I, yeah, I seem to be skipping my alarm for some reason on my phone. I need to put my phone further away from me in the bedroom so that I don't wake up, put it on snooze and go back to bed. Uh, so I'm a little bit late this morning. Um, so I woke up, I pretty much immediately immediately went out the door to walk the dog. Uh, then I got back and I just sort of stuffed some jammy toast into my face and now I'm here. So uh, a <laughs> bit, bit of a mad rush this morning. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to chill out with a bit of RimWorld. And uh, and then after that, so from one o'clock onwards, I'm going to get on with the editing. Uh, at eight o'clock this evening, so between one o'clock and then eight o'clock, I'll be working. At eight o'clock this evening, um, there's another Divinity Two session that's been scheduled. Sorry, what's the? Sorry, I'm looking oh, I'm looking at the wrong day on the calendar. No, it is tonight. Hang on. Right, just cross that out. Right. So yes, uh, this evening at eight at eight p.m., uh, we're going to continue Divinity Two with uh, Quebec and Messiesi and Digby. Uh, so that's been fun so far. Uh, so yeah, it's a pretty pretty normal day, really. Just gonna do a bit of RimWorld and do some do some editing, then join you join you guys for Divinity later this evening. I hope. Um, thank you, Nach. Uh, sorry, Nach Jager. Thank you very much. Thank you. And before that, Naive Wally. Thank you. Um, right. Okay then. So um, is there any other news? Uh, not really. Nothing. Nothing really going on. Just oh, sorry. The, yes, obviously the YouTube stuff. Um, yeah. So it's the fourth week of work on a YouTube video. Normally this would be the point where I would be wrapping up a video and have it ready. Uh, however, the video uh, that I'm doing is not 10 minutes long as they normally are. It's about 25, so I'm going to need more time. I am about seven minutes through the edit. So about seven minutes of fully, you know, animated and text added and, you know, it's all, it's all fancy and looks nice. Uh, about seven minutes through. So I'm just going to keep going. Uh, I'm hoping by the end of today it will be like eight minutes. That you know, it just takes about a minute a day. Um, it's just it's really slow. It's just slow editing. Um, Radali, thank you, Radali. Um, so yeah, I'm, that's that's the plan today. I'm just going to keep plinking away at it. And um, yeah, mm, cool. What's that? Buy an Amazon Echo and use that as an alarm clock. I just need to train you to be an alarm clock, don't I? You going to be an alarm clock? She's sitting looking at me. Are you horrified by that image? She looks traumatized. Hang on a second. <sighs> Lily, hello, Danny. Come on. Oh, there it is. You're so fat. Jesus. Right, she's on my lap now. Look, what's that on the screen? Look, what's that? What's that? Is that you? Look, it's you. Lily, it's you. <laughs> what's that? Is that you? Lily, look at this. What's that? Is that you? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but she's going. Arr. She's grumbling. Oh, she's trying to climb up near it. What's that? Is that you? Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> she she can see it. She's looking right at the right at the picture, and she doesn't like it because it's like a it, it's a it's a face that's not moving. How old is she? She's a year and a half. Who's that? Is that you? Oh, <laughs> she she's not keen on that. You're not keen on that, are you? You're not keen on that. Okay, down you go, honey. Down you go. Good girl. I love you, darling. Okay. Right, okay, anyway, so, ha, ah, RimWorld, right, okay then, so, oh, just gonna drop in, 
So, uh, for those not familiar, uh, you can obviously see that there's been a bit of a crisis. The game is paused right now. I'll be with it in just a moment. Uh, for those not familiar, RimWorld is basically a top-down adventure game in which, if I just bring up the world map, uh, you have got to survive, or rather your people have got to survive as long as they can after a cryo ship accident has, uh, well, occurred. Basically, a cryo ship uh, has arrived at this uh, star system. And there was a big accident and it exploded in orbit and all of these cryopods containing 10,000 odd people, friends, family, stuff like that, you know, pets, were all scattered wildly across the atmosphere and started landing at random places, forming up their own colonies and bandit groups fighting over the, yeah, fighting over the wreckage. We have landed up here, this blue house here, on the Choga Ice Sheet, uh, and we've called this place Tundra Fall. It is bitterly cold, bitterly bitterly cold up here ladies and gentlemen um so about minus 60 degrees in the winter and in the summer minus seven Yeesh. um so yeah it's 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 really bad um we also have a secondary a sort of like a mining colony called i'm sorry that's not true logging called um <clears throat> you've lost me what have, what do you mean you've lost me my microphone is on no my, my sorry it's on don't know what you're talking about um, yes, so we have a smaller base down here for the summer, uh, which is where we're gathering lumber. But um, yeah, it's it's pretty much we're stationed in Winterfall, the Tundra Fall even. Um, so, right here we go. So it's currently the tenth month, uh, the tenth day of winter. So spring will be soon, which is going to be useful. Um, right. So yes, we have suffered an infestation, as you can see. Uh, so basically we've had a, a, an outbreak of very nasty genetically engineered bugs who have tunneled up into the base. Now we have defeated them. This was uh, just before, well this was late last evening, when I, just before I went to bed. We have defeated them, but it was difficult. Some of our pets have died. We've lost some dogs. Uh, we've also, Mio's been badly injured and I need to prioritize their treatment. Um, right, okay, so... Uh, I will get to their introductions in a minute, but I think we should try and recover from this. All the bugs are dead, I think. We need to kill their hives all over the rec room. Um, right. So I need to carefully manage this because... Right, for casualties first. So Mio, the 16 year at 17 now, uh, she is badly ripped up. So Mio fought in melee with her, her thrombo horn here. She's going to die in 12 hours. She's bleeding heavily from pretty much all limbs and, and in her torso. So Kaz... Our former soldier get her in the infirmary fast vassal our psychopath with the blade is also badly hurt He's got some shattered ribs and his index finger was just severed. Um, I need you to enter this room and start destroying the hives Thank you Daedalus Okay, Jen our 23 year old Oracle child assist in that score Maximo with the minigun could you go into the rec room alongside Karu and start dealing with these hives here? So Maximo with the cannibalistic doctor and Karu our junkie bounty hunter Right, go. No, no, this was off stream, the infestation. It didn't take long anyway. Uh, oh, Gloob, Gloob's is trapped in the kitchen. So hang on. Yeah, we need to kill the hives before they spawn more. Right, so Maximo, could you rail that with the with the minigun? And Karu, can you rail that with your minigun? Okay, we also need to down the bugs just in case they get up again. So Dragoner, can you go and melee attack that scarab to death? Seamoth the politician melee attack that one to death. Shinderhans, can you melee attack that one to death? Thank you, Turd, uh, Turd Blossom. Good name. Thank you. Right, and who's this? Yellow, the elderly man. Just go to bed or whatever. Okay, there we go. Maximo's got... Good, they cleared them out. Major break risk. Gloobsh. Why? Um, okay, he's just trapped in the freezer, that's why. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you. Why do I say rum and not room? I did say room, didn't I? Didn't say rum. Right, you should stand down. Okay. Yeah, we need to eliminate those other hives as a matter of urgency. Okay, so hang on. Mio's in the infirmary badly injured. Death in 11 hours. Ryoma, your injuries are not so bad. Can you go and, yeah, start patching up Mio? Don't strip her. Go patch her up. Hang on. Why can't Ryoma assist with doctoring? Doctoring... Yeah, you can. What's the problem? Try to... Oh, sorry, you're drafted. That's why. Duh. Right, okay. So, let's have them just eliminate... The remaining bugs. You two melee attack that guy there. Oh, wait. Be careful. Don't accidentally... 
Hang on. Oh, is it already dead? Oh, oh, it's that one there. Sorry, my bad. Okay. Oh fuck! Melee attack. That bug. Okay. You stand down, see muff. Okay. Hi there, Tate Mars. Hi there. Right, Jen. Hit that hive there. Sweet. Now, I would actually like to hang on to this in insect jelly because the fact that it doesn't go off. So the bug hives have spawned insect jelly as their food source. Now it doesn't deteriorate. Uh, deteriorate. It, it doesn't rot. So I can use it as a travel uh, food. Or rather store it. Just store it for like food in a, in a crisis or something. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure at some point. Adel Adel's late. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, sorry, that was just one of the... Yeah, we had a random wolf group join us uh, over at White Forest, which is our lumber camp here. Yeah, so, so we, we had no way of getting them back here or feeding them, so... Yeah, there's nothing we could do about them. Thank you, uh, Dang and to uh, Swoo... Oh, Jesus. Swoo1, F7, Sa1, N7. Thank you kindly. Thank you very much. Okay, hang on, destroy that hive. Good, stand down. Well done. Right, so this place... This place looks like a bomb has hit it. Holy shit. Yep, so blood and guts and dead insects everywhere. Yikes. Okay. Uh, not really, uh, sorry, rando. I'm just cleaning it, cleaning up after an infestation that occurred off stream. Um, hang on. Right, so that dog will, yeah, the dogs will need medical attention. Quite a lot of it, actually. They're going to die quite quickly if we don't assist them. Uh, so hang on, so what's Rioma doing? So how badly is Dr. Maximo hurt? Not that badly. Right, Ryoma, can you patch up the doctor? So if we... Uh, yeah, so Maximo, the cannibalistic doctor, get him patched up so he can assist with the with the actual human patients. Ryoma can go deal with the puppies. Okay. Right, so she's using... Her, so Ryoma, the mathematician, is using herbal medicine. Right, there we go. So the doctor is now patched up. So, Doctor, yeah, so you tend to Gloosh. What's Ryoma doing? Resting. Could you instead tend to the dogs one by one? Okay. Right. Just wait until you get a, a Manhunter pack of Yorkshire Terriers, says Zelda. <laughs> right. Let's open up any restricted doors. This place needs to get cleaned up as a matter of urgency. It's filthy. Uh, thank you, not great at Dota. Thank you. Right, uh, so I guess super quick introductions. I've done a few people already, but super quick. We have Kaz over here, the 48-year-old former soldier. Uh, she's the daughter of Zorium, backbone of the colony, one of our first joiners. We have Dragoner, who was 17, is now 22. Uh, she was a, a sort of teenager, very neurotic teenager, helping with manual tasks. She's now grown up into a rather capable young woman uh, who's still helping with the menial tasks, but is also responsible for the hydroponics. We have Seamuff over here, the 45-year-old politician and leader of the colony. Great with a sniper rifle, although I've, I've taken that and given her an assault rifle for now, because Karu needs it. Ryoma, the mathematician, 49 years old. She's currently bonking yellow. In fact, they've, they've married. It's not just bonking. They're actually they've, they've married. Um, so, yeah, she's mathematician and uh, handles our tech... Well, she handles our technology. Now she handles the hydroponics. We have Jen, the 23-year-old Oracle tribal child. Very naive, um, but also gets along well with the other youngsters in the colony, such as Dragoner. Um, yeah, so she sleeps next to Maximo, the cannibalistic doctor. Uh, 45 years old, uh, so very antagonistic relationship with both Jen, who he put in the infirmary, kicking her in the, sp in the spine once. Um, but also, generally, he's seen as quite abrasive and difficult to work with, being a, being a cannibal. You know, since other people are on his diet, they're part of his diet. Um, and he's also wearing the skin of some of his enemies because it makes him feel good. We have Vassal over here, the... Yikes, v Vassal is bleeding to death. You need to get, the get to the infirmary. So Vassal is the 42-year-old psychopath with a sword. We have Yellow, the 56-year-old uh, elderly husband of uh, Ryoma and also the animal handler. Shinderhans, the 28-year-old naval scientist and head of our research... Oh. Head of our research. She's also highly neurotic and gets very, very ang angsty very quickly. We have Porter, the 40-year-old... Karu is overdosing. Hmm. We have uh, Porter, the 40-year-old uh, psychopath, great with a rifle. So he's similar to Vassal, just great with a rifle. He's also... Oh, wait. He's a junkie? Oh. 
I didn't realize he's a junkie. Porter's a junkie. We have Mio, the 17 year old miner. She's a miner, but she's also she's good at mining. Uh, she's also a brawler, uh, so she likes to fight in melee. And uh, as we've recently learned, she's um, not to be trifled with. Uh, she, she was insulted by Yellow, the animal handler, the elderly animal handler. And she shanked him <laughs> with a knife. Um, yes, Mio is uh, quite an angsty teenager. And we have Gloob over here. Gloob is a 80-year-old man who's recently come out of a coma. He was in he was in the infirmary in a coma for pretty much an entire year, uh, getting over a wake-up addiction. So that's the type of drug that he needs to obviously wake up. Um, so he's out of that coma now. He's also got dementia, which is a shame. But he's good in the melee, and he's generally handy with mining, and he can do hauling when he's not mining, stuff like that. Okay. And lastly, we have Karu. Karu is a 58-year-old bounty hunter uh, with pretty decent combat abilities who is also a big... Well, a big is underselling it a bit. She is a massive, massive junkie. She is completely addicted to Psychite, Gojuice, Yayo. She's just she's fucking in injecting drugs into her eyeballs. She's a massive junkie with a heart problem. And she's 58, so... A bit of a life she's had there. Wait, and Dragon is the one at risk of breaking? Oh, because she feels terrible. Um, can you prioritize the cleaning of the goo? Both human goo and bug goo. That would be useful, Dragoner. You're the cleaner. Right, so how are we doing in terms of injuries? Let's have a look. Right, so... Okay. Right, so, yeah, people are getting sorted. Vassal's uh, injuries are getting fixed. There we go. So is there any, anyone who's can, still bleeding? Okay, hang on. Seamuff is still bleeding. Can you get in the infirmary? Have that treated. Um, Vassal's, yep, patched up. Porter's not bleeding. Mio's not bleeding. Everyone's... Oh, oh good. We finished researching the long-range mineral, mineral scanner. But I'll get to that in a bit. Okay. What's the... Oh, the flaming icon next to the skill, uh, Cat Guardian. It means they have a passion for it. A small flame is a, li a little bit of passion. A big flame, a lot of passion. They will get joy if they if they are assigned to doing that task. Yikes. Extreme blood loss with that dog. Um, so they'll receive a joy bonus if, if, you know, I make, if they enjoy mining and I make them mine. And also they will learn how to do it very quickly. They, they were very fast at learning how to do it. Um... Uh, thank you, not great at Dota. Thank you kindly. Thank you very much. Okay. So this place is filthy. We also need to close all the doors, which I held open for reasons of combat. Ooh. How's ZF doing? Yeah, we're all right. We're just hanging out, as we're always, always doing, as we always do. <clears throat> right. Is that dog okay? Oh. Oh. Brain injury. Daf Daphne the dog has a brain injury. An assault rifle hit her in the br uh, a bullet from an assault rifle hit her in the brain. Oh, poor Daphne. Okay, this place is fucking filthy. I'm gonna reassign somebody. What's Gloobs doing? I'm gonna reassign you over to cleaning instead of hauling. So hopefully we can get this place cleaned. Oh good, Dragon is assisting with the cleaning already. Okay. Right, so if you're just joining, Tundra Fall. It's the uh, tenth night of uh, winter. On the is it the fourth uh, year we're here? It's very cold outside. Minus forty nine, and um, wait, animal starvation. Oh, it's just the husky over here. Um, yeah, we're just trying to hang in there as best we can. Uh, so over here, so this being tundra fall here, uh, I built a sort of perimeter wall because I was going to make some buildings here. Um, ah, that's the dog over here. It's fine. Um, so right. Over here, at White Forest, which is the name of that lot lumber camp, as you can see it's covered in snow. When it's spring, I'm going to send over some guys here, and we're just going to fortify it with some, with some limestone. And then we're going to harvest as many trees as we can, send them back to Tundra Fall via drop pod. And then we're going to plant as, as many crops as we can here to exploit the natural sunshine and growing fertile soil. Thank you, White Coloured Eye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Because um, obviously we can't, there's no soil up here. There's gravel and potatoes grow in it. it takes forever, but they do grow. Ugh. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on. Sea Muff is still bleeding. They'll need to be tended this time. Oh, we need to clean the infirmary, though. That's actually a matter of urgency. Um, what's Kaz doing? 
Cat is lying awake in bed. Who's closest? Uh, Maximo, are you okay? Yeah, Maximo, can you go and clean? It's urgent that we clean the blood, otherwise we might get infections in the infirmary. Thank you, not great at Dota. Thank you. <clears throat> right. Have I already count down red caves as landscape? Sorry? I don't know what that means. Count... Count down red caves. I, I know what those words mean, but I don't know in what context. In, in that context. Okay. You can grow rice and gravel, says Blood Mixer. Okay. I was I was told that it's only only really potatoes. Okay. Right, so the infirmary is at least clean, which raises its total stat and reduces the chance of infections. Oh, thrombos. Okay, a small herd of thrombo. Ah, oh, it's, it's white forest. Yeah, so th this is like a like a it's like a rhino. It's like a majestic rhino. It moves really quickly though, and hits like a truck with that horn. Um, but if you can kill them, you can get a thrombo horn. I've got one here, which is very valuable. Very, very valuable. Thank you. Uh, say um, say unt G nine hundred. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Kaz is bleeding to death. Ah, she's okay. We have visitors. Okay. Again at White Forest. <laughs> They're just going to visit this random empty empty camp. Have I already encountered caves as a form of landscape? Oh, uh, no, because we no, we haven't been near a, mount, a mountain, so we haven't seen any. Okay. Right, so Gloob, yeah, just cleaning up the corridor there. We need to get these insects in the freezer. They'll be good f uh, kibble meat, actually. So let me, um, right, go to the butcher's table, which is where we, where we prepare the kibble. And I'd like to assign, so instead of all meats, only use insect meat. So instead of using that for human food, we'll use it for dog food. Okay. You can, yes, you can tame thrombos, yes, but, um... You do need somebody with a very high animal handling skill. Uh, yellow has 12. I don't think that's enough. Okay. Yes, sorry. Uh, C, Hunt, G. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Ooh. Why is there space between the walls? Yes, indeed. So, um, in a previous thing, people were saying that by leaving an air gap between the, the room and the... Um, uh, the room, so basically the outside cold at minus 52 and the room, you would insulate the room better. And I thought, no, nah, it's fine. They, they said they fixed that. And so I, I, I just put, you know, I just put a thick wall here. And the, so this is an experiment. I was doing an experiment to see if that was true, uh, you know, whether or not there was a greater insul insulative factor here. So I need to close that, that vent here. I don't, I mean, based on initial observations, I don't think so. But then again, that vent is open. Good look, it's 20 degrees there. 20 degrees there, but then again, they are sharing heat. So if I close this vent and see what happens, probably that one as well for the sake of a test. But yeah, I was—I uh, wanted to see if it was the case or not. The jelly is forbidden. Yes, it is. I need to uh, move the jelly specifically into a storeroom and not let them eat it. Yes, it's very good. Uh, sorry, XXMGEXCEL. Uh, it's very good indeed. Um, I would, I, yeah, I know I don't often shill things. Uh, I try not to actually, but uh, Rimworld is definitely a must-buy. It's um, it's very good. You get very attached to your people, and then it's gutting when they start dying. You're like, oh, you're like, <laughs> they they were with me from the beginning. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, this place is damaged. Look, holy shit! Look at all the walls and vents and shit that took bullets. Holy crap! Minigun spray. Look, look at this. Minigun sprayed down the walls. Yeah. Okay, right, so half of our people are in the infirmary. Your colony died at Tundra Fall. What, on a Tundra? Uh, Rikatari. You were doing so well, you survived a raid where two of your colonists got carried away by tribals and used thrombos as mounts. A mod. Man hunting polar bears. Oh no. All of your medicine and food was outside so you couldn't open the doors. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Unlucky, man. 
Okay, do we have enough food for the alpaca? Uh, they look alright, but we need to sow some more... Yeah, we need to plant some more... Oh, hang on. Right, oh yeah, I assigned them to eating nutrient paste. Because our food reserves were not amazing. Um, yeah, just keep eating nutrient paste for now. So this machine here, we can put in meat. And it will make a sort of slurry that's kind of disgusting. But there's no chance of food poisoning, and it also uses a um, it maximizes the the, uh, the nutritional content. So you you save food basically instead of well it it, it just it, you put in less food for more more reward more more actual edible meals. But obviously it tastes it tastes revolting. Okay, what's new in the colony? Uh, well we we've, we've headed back to winter back at um. Yeah, as in to conceal ourselves from the winter back here at uh, Tundra Fall. In the spring, we'll start, we'll occupy white forests and grow some crops and stuff and then send them back. Uh, we have limited chem fuel for multiple journeys, so we need more, we, we need more wood or, or organic matter to make it. I wonder perhaps if I can use some of the insect corpses as chem fuel. The alpacas can eat the green insect things. True, but um, the green insect, the, the the royal jelly is actually really, it's good. It gives a mood boost and it doesn't spoil. It's not, it's not worth giving it to, as animal feed. What's Dragona doing? She's harvesting rice. Could you go and sow the flowers for the alpaca? But they need, they need to grow and they need to eat them. Cool. People are getting fully healed. The gel things in the bedroom, they're, they're the leftovers from the insect attack. So let me assign somebody to haul them now. So I'm going to assign... Uh, what's Gloob to? He's cleaning. Right, so... So the 80-year-old man, who is deaf and has dementia, start hauling the insect jelly into the storerooms, where I'll then forbid it. Uh, yes, the end game is still build a ship and escape. Okay. Alright, so what's Jen doing? She's making survival meals? No, Jen. I thought I told you not to do that. I guess I didn't. Okay. Right, blue. Yep, yeah, he's moving it into the storeroom. Right. Only 21 meals? No, uh, you don't need to refrigerate the jelly. It's awesome. You don't need to refrigerate. You just got to keep it. Um, you just got to keep it uh, under under a roof. Okay, right. So Jen is butchering up the insects. We'll yeah, we'll use that to make some kibble to feed the animals. My alpaca deserve the best. No, I'm not. I'm not feeding them royal jelly. <laughs> they can fuck off. Indeed, the end goal of the game is not the point. Nor is surviving. Well, uh, nor is building a massive colony and having it be amazing. It's the drama that occurs from being put under constant pressure and the entertainment that comes from it. Thank you. Not a great Dota. Sorry, not not great at Dota. Thank you. Most kind. Right, so Gloob's just... Uh, what's he doing? Cleaning bug blood. Oh, how did someone get out there? Weird. Right, okay. So the colony continues. Oh yes, I was building those because I can't figure out how to launch them in groups. I thought you put them horizontally, but I think you put them vertically like that. So we need to de deconstruct these. Yeah. So Seamuff, our politician and builder, is working on that. What's Maximo doing? Uh, work oh, yes, yeah, still working on that perimeter wall. Good, 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 good. Okay. Yeah, it's good, isn't it, Rosin? It's, it's working out so far. So my plan now, Rosin, is I'm going to put in a similar deal here. I, like, as in, can you see how I've done this? A rectangle with, like, an internal corridor. If I do the same here, this time I can exploit the, geother the two geothermal points. Uh, these are generators, for those not familiar. Um, I've got one here. So it's kind of walled off because it's not very attractive. But um, this generator is 
pumping out heat into this room, which is being spread through this vent into the infirmary. So, um, I'm taking, well, oh no, sorry, there used to be a vent here for the hydroponics, but I can't remember why I sealed that off. Not sure. But regardless, it, heat is being used by the colony. Is that the most of it? Can't be generating that much heat. Hmm. But yes, the point is free heat. Free heat that I can use without electrical heaters, so hooray. Oh yes, thank you, research. Um, so I'm working down the end of the tree now. So let's start researching... Um, let's go with the ship's antimatter reactor. So if we can build a ship's reactor in preparation for our escape, we'll also be able to use it to power the colony. Okay. Did I, did I lose some materials when disassembling? I think you do, yes. I think you only get about 75% of the material back. I think. How's Mia feeling? She looks okay. Um, go get a thrombo horn, a weapon. Okay. Oh, a piece of space. Yeah, it's over at White Forest again. That's irritating. Okay. Oh yes, I'm also sending bricks and stuff via pods for when we arrive in the spring. Okay, right, so now we need to just build a couple of pods there. Is Vassal, the, yeah, the Psychopath Vassal is still working on components. Uh, do we have enough steel? No, we have limited steel. I need the steel to make, to make that drill. Damn, hang on a second. That's urgent, because if I don't build that... Yeah, hang on. See, Muff, can you quickly grab the steel that's left to make the drill? Vassal, can you stop that task there? Hang on. Leave the steel, because if, if I don't, if I can't build the drill, then we're not going to get more steel. Uh, what's that? See, Muff, major break risk? Hungry and cold. Oh, you're wearing power armor. Yeah, you can only manage minus 28 degree temperatures, and it's minus 42. Yeah. Do you think it's possible to kind of terraform an area you're walling off? Um, well, you could, yep. Yeah. Sorry, what? Yeah, you can, you can drain water. What do you mean, what do you mean terraform? Grow trees and natural resources. Yeah, you can grow trees, Rosam. So yeah, you can happily grow trees and drain water. But you can't say, for example, turn, turn an area into like a desert. Fuck, okay, that's a problem beavers. They're going to be cutting down the tree. They're going to be eating the trees that I, I want to preserve. That's why I've... Ah, I've got to send a hunter. Darn. Okay. If I send a hunter, can they get back safely? Uh, it has to, it's going to have to be Kaz. Alright, I'm going to have to send Kaz to go and hunt those beaver. Because Kaz, the former soldier at the age of 48, uh, eat like, she's okay with eating raw meat. Uh, okay, make sure she's well equipped for the winter. Minus, uh, well, hang on, it's not, so, it's not so wintry over there, is it? Yeah, minus 25. Okay, let's send Kaz. Does she have a sniper? Can we give her a sniper? Yeah, Kaz. Give the sniper rifle over to Kaz. We'll build a drop pod. We'll send Kaz with enough materials to jump back. So chem fuel. Um, yeah, stuff to jump back. They'll get eaten by foxes and wolves before they do any real damage. Uh, I don't know. I see foxes, but I can't see any major threats. I want to make sure that they get dealt with. Oh, damn. Gloovesh is wandering around with dementia. Minus seven. Yeah, so Gloovesh is wearing a thick parka. So. Sorry, a, um, a uh, alpaca wool jacket. And a nice thick hat. So, he, he's warm at least. Okay, right. So we'll need to deal with those beavers before they go for all the trees that we want to use. Okay. Send a two-man team if I can afford it. I don't think I can really afford it. I mean, that's all the chem fuel I have. We need to send that other team. Major break risk, Seamoth. Indeed, draining the lakes does take a very long time. Ah, fuck. Did you see him off? Maximo. Oh, wait, need to steal. Fuck. Okay, so we need 22. Ah, oh, 19. Shit. Okay, we need a bit more steel. 
We need steel to get steel. Oh, that sucks. Um, hang on. Any there? Yes, hang on, there's some steel. Right. I see, I was building moisture pumps. Yep, screw that. We need to get this... Oh, what do you mean? You got steel there. Yeah. I need Maximo to build this drill in order to get more steel. Okay. Right. The colony ticks on. Got loads of plant steel. We should definitely build some plant steel turrets when we get some more components. Why no YouTube? I'm always making YouTube stuff slim. It's just that each individual video takes time and not, not all the videos I make go public. So for example, I finished a bunch of them in January, but they're not going to go public yet. They will eventually, but not yet. So, yeah. And then the latest video I've started was about three and a half weeks ago. That's not true. Sorry, four. No, yeah, three and a half weeks ago. And it just takes that long to get anywhere. Uh, after, after those three and a half weeks, I'm seven minutes through a video. It's just the, the editing takes time. It's, um, yeah. Just editing something is fucking not hard. It's just, it just takes time to keyframe all that stuff. Thousands, thousands, tens of thousands of keyframes. What do you do? You don't have the components. Yes, he, sorry, he's going to go get them. Uh, okay, so Maximo's gone to get the components. Thank you, Mr. Ragemane. Thank you. Yes, they do. I uh, guess those summon. Yes, they do indeed. We're draining the lakes to do away with the geothermal power. Nope, nope. Geothermal is just... Well, geothermal. The lake, it, as in this is... Exploiting, ge exploiting geothermal vents. So this is just a lake. I don't know anything about Kingdom Come deliver Deliverance. It's hard to make videos with just one hand available. Yes, and that, yes. And I have a chronic masturbation problem. And I have no doubt that's going to be quoted out of context of the clip on the subreddit. <clears throat> okay. Right, so it's uh, 11 in the evening, so the colony winds down for the 12th day of winter. Okay. Hi there, in New Zealand, Riv the Greenie. Yeah, um, it's been going for the fourth year. Fourth year on this planet. Hmm. Right, so there we go. So Maximo is now building a drill. So it's now one in the morning. You can go to bed after this. There we go. Bosh. Steel. Good. Okay, so the, yeah, the drill is now powered up. And anybody who works that drill will produce, produce steel. We'll use that steel to make more components, make more drills. And then we'll have steel coming out of our ears. Did I use the free premium? I don't even know what that is there. So, no. Okay, colonies wound down for bed. Karu's woken up to get some cocaine. Now she's doing some cleaning. Sweet. Okay, now the colony is clean again. I'm going to reassign Gloobs back to hauling instead of cleaning. Indeed, that's true. Uh, Anchorus, you can't pump away the, the deep water, only the shallows. So you can turn marshland into dry land, but you can't turn a deep lake into shallow water. Does the drill run out of steel? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. When am I releasing Mountain Blade Bullshittery? When it's ready. So seven minutes out of 25 are currently ready. Well, I say ready. It's, there's quite a lot wrong with it that I want to go back and fix. But that's what the QA part is for. Okay, so the colony wakes up. Powering up all the... Yep, powering up all the... Hydro... Uh, fuck. The hydroponics lights. They come on automatically at the start of the morning. It's six in the morning. How does the beaver problem look? Oh, bulk goods trader. Damn. Wrong location. Thank you, lobby boy. Thank you. Uh, the beavers are... Can't even see them. Where are the beavers? Hunt. 
the hell are the beavers? Where are they gone? We're just being daft. Can't see him. Uh, thank you, not great at Dota. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you to now. Thank you. Huh. Ah, I see, Dat Uber. Thank you for said honor. I would say go with the world eaters. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Guess that's not gonna work, is it? Thank you, JH. Thank you. It's fine. It's games work. Games Workshop bend the law all the time. I'm sure. I'm sure somehow you can get a world eater, Death Watch Marine. You could just say they're a black shield or something. Yeah. Right. Any more gravel for the greenhouse? There's a little bit there. There's a tiny bit there. But honestly, there aren't many great reserves here. I mean, there's quite a lot over here, but that's well out of the way. Okay. Right, good. The dog's been walking in. Thank you, Althorion. Thank you kindly. Right. And take it easy. Thank you, take it easy. So the colony ticks on. Oh yeah, what was that thing about the... Um, oh, hang on a minute, yeah. So if I go here, there was six days peace talks with the Black Badger Lekol tribe. They want to do, to do peace talks. Also, there's a, there's a mission there that we can do. Why not? Should we do a mission? Yeah, seems fun. Um, so how long... If I go here to the, to the base, so peace talks or a bandit or attacking that place. Right, hang on, if I form a caravan, and then if I were to just assign, let's send four people. So if I were to send like Karu and Porter and Vassal and Seamuff, right? Estimated time. So obviously we can use drop pods to get there, but it would take 1.3 days of travel time. 3.2 days for the longer one. Okay. And if I were to Oh, fuck. No, no, don't do that. Ah. In terms of food, all the packaged survival meals, 2.4 days. Okay. What about the insect jelly? 2.9. Um, oh, it seems like such a, a trait. Like, that's a bad trait, insect jelly, for <coughs> whatever mission that is. Okay. Yeah. Um... Let's go. Should we go to the peace talks? Yeah. Um. I. I don't think. I don't think we need to send Kaz now because I don't think. I don't think the beavers are still there. I think they're fucked off. At least I can't see them. No, the be beavers are gone. Right, okay, so let's send, let's send four of my fighters <coughs> over to that Peace Talks location. So let's try and get the drop pods going so we don't have to walk there. So hang on, so Seamuff, deconstruct the pod to get the resources. <clears throat> oh, wait, Kaz, oh, it's fine, Kaz likes raw food. Okay. Okay, and that. So I'll send Seamuff, the politician, due to her social abilities. Is anybody better? Uh... Oh, ho holy shit. Gloobs. Gloobs is unexpectedly good at at peace talks. Okay, maybe send Gloobs, Gloobs instead. Oh. Okay, right now. Work on that pod. Okay, build another one there and there. Yep, fill up. Yeah, we need a lot more steel. Okay, Gloob's just working on that. Thank you, not created Dota. Thank you. Don't send fighters, send four bakers. They won't expect that. <laughs> yes. Start throwing bready products. 
Oh yeah, I didn't get any. Damn, it just reminded me. I didn't eat. Didn't eat. Eat ah, words. Didn't eat. Oh my god. Did not eat any pancakes a couple of days ago for Shrove's Tuesday. Hmm. I want pancakes. Oh yes. Okay, so they're working on that experiment. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, that's changed things a little bit. They're really close to the base. That's not too bad though. So a minigun one, a, a blaster one, and two scythers, and they're going to be facing our external turrets first. Um, okay, but th okay, let's change the equation a, a, little, a little bit. We need to deal with that first. So let's assign all the dogs back into the safe area. Oh, they already are. I oh, see. They were already restricted. Whoops. Are they starving? Whoops. Some of them are starving. Um, leave them there for a moment. We'll deal with that. Okay, so see. Let's, yeah, let's get our fighters out there. So send our long range fighters with our snipers. So Kaz, get your sniper rifle. Dragon, you stay out. In fact, Dragon, you quickly go to the storeroom to turn the turrets on. Okay, Seamuff, yeah, you go out there. Ryoma, stay clear. Jen, you go out there. Maximo, stay clear with your minigun. You're not needed. Uh, Vassal, hang on a minute. Ah, is that loaded? That's loaded with the MPs. Ryoma, quickly grab that. Man that mortar. Um, okay, Vassal might be useful, actually. In fact, send them anyway. Shinderhans, get out there. Porter with your assault rifle. Mayo, yep. And Glubst. And carry with your minigun. Let's go. Right, so here they come. So, Maximo, in fact, you're right next to the switch. So, just go here quickly. Right, Dragon League, get out the front instead. So, wait until they're in range of the... So, they haven't identified all those, all those turrets as threats yet. Because they're, sw they've sw they're switched off. So, wait until they get super close. Okay, right. An EMP shell is loaded. Go for the rear ones. In fact, fuck it. Go for the yeah, go for the rear ones. The slow ones. Okay, hang on. Let's just form up here. Jen, move there. Okay, get ready. Okay, Vassal and Mio. Shindens, move there. Whoops, go there. Okay, shouldn't need these turrets on, but these ones I'll turn on. You can wait for it. Wait for it. They're too close. To no, damn it! They've identified them as threats. I didn't think they didn't think they would. Fuck it. Get the power on, quick. Did it. Right, they've come on. Yep, they're on. Right, so we might as well push then, using that full cover. Go. Right, they've engaged the turrets. They'll destroy them fairly easily. Right, Ryoma, where's the first shell? Four seconds till... Yeah, four seconds. Ah, fuck. Wait. Let's move Kaz here. Everyone else back off. You don't have cover. Come the shell. Oh, got one stunned. Holy shit. Wow. They get, whoa. Okay. Kidding me? Holy shit. Let's go. Got, yeah, let's go. Go, go, go. Everyone take your positions. Let's go, 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 go. Like, there's only one left. The other one's stunned. Go, go, go. Vassal and me. Oopsie. See my stand at the back. It should be easy. Let's move around. Line them up. Knock them down. Oh, watch it, Shindon. See, must stand there. Bounce all of me, I move in. Yeah, easy peasy. Oh, whoops, Ryoma. <laughs> That's fine. You can stand down. Go eat. Go eat some potatoes. Okay. You just stand there and wait a second. Don't get in the line of fire. Easy peasy. Yeah, Ryoma. Ryoma's a badass with that EMP launcher. Yeah. What's that? Oh, a good minigun as well. <laughs> That's good. All right then. Sweet. Um. Okay. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Uh, Karu, what's your minigun? It's a normal minigun. And what about Maximo? A normal minigun. Yeah, just take that in indoors. We'll trade that later. Right, sweet. Haul that minigun in. We'll shut down... Shut down the robots. So just find their control consoles and shut them down. Shut down the scyther. Good. Oh, wow. We can remove this one's blades. So, Vassal, if you could please our main crafter. Yep, please modify... 
Modify them and shut them down. Very good. Maximo. Sorry, I forgot about you. You can turn off that switch. Oopsie. Turn off the switch, please, Maximo. Everybody else, stand down. Go home. Go indoors for sandwiches and hand jobs. Thank you, Wingrud. Thank you. Right. Lovely. I need to replace that turret. Miniguns are pretty useless versus a few enemy... Well, no, I wouldn't say that. Miniguns can be startlingly effective. In close quarters, a minigun just tears through everything. Especially if you're dealing with an infestation and can't use fire. Mini, Yeah, I, so this infestation here, we had minigun, minigun, and we just railed the corridor. And we just cut bugs to pieces. They came within melee, and it just meant every hit with a minigun landed. Every shot with a minigun. Right, so what Vassal is doing right now is he, using his crafting ability. Rather than rather than stabbing them to death, he's switching them off. Like so. Yes, good point. The animals are starving. Unrestrict the dogs. Thank you. So let's go. Oops, animals. Okay, dogs. Unrestrict them so they can access their kibble in the rec room. There they go. Okay, now what Vassal's doing now, the Scythers have these organic blade arms. They're a bit like the, they're a bit like the Geth. They've got these um, synthetic, uh, well, whatever, synthetic like weaponry that shuts down when they die. So we're trying to surgically remove it whilst keeping its internal systems intact. And then, if we can do it, yes, he's done it. Okay, so that's a Scyther arm. Now we can we can surgically graft that onto the arm of one of our colonists to give them a very powerful melee weapon. Whoops, our comms console has broken down. Oh, uh, we stole the power arm off some dead bandits, Randy. So it's got the dead man's debuff. Okay, the light's failing, therefore the chances of success may drop. Can't do hauling. Who can haul? Mio, can you hold that? Yep. Um, no, you can't reprogram the ciphers. Very good. Now shut it down. Okay, so he's removed both of its arms. Very good. And haul the other one in. Nice. So we can either graft those onto our own colonists' arms as melee weapons, or we can sell them. Either or. Okay. Yeah, lovely. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <clears throat> right, so let's have um hang on a bit. So let's have Jen. Jen's playing cards in the sorry, playing billiards in the rec room. Can you please, just before you go to bed, make as many survival meals as you can for the team who are, who are going to be heading up to the peace talks with the uh, black tri what is it, the black leopard lecol. So hang on. Yeah, can we get oh we need to steal. Yeah, we need more steel. Right. Major break risk. It's Vassal? What's wrong, Vassal? Urgently hungry, I see. The psychopath was urgently hungry before we before we ran out to fight the um, Scythers. Okay, so for those just joining, uh, yeah, so this is Tundra Fall. So it's minus 45 degrees outside because it's the evening on the 12th day of winter. Each season lasts 15 days, so soon it will be the spring. Before it is the spring, I would like to send a team to the north to meet with a tribe that wants to open peace talks. They'll be there for six days. When it is spring, I'm going to send a team over to White Forest, which is a currently covered in snow. Uh, ignore them. It's just a tribals. Um, currently covered in snow uh, farming and lumber camp that I'm going to set up. But obviously nothing's going to grow in the winter, so we've got to wait for the spring. Replace both of the Psycho's arms for some nice cyber... <laughs> Cyber psychotic ac action. I would, but Vassal is my main crafter, and it would uh, his motor motor fine motor skills would be affected, negatively affected. Okay, so Jen, the tribal, is just moving to and from the kitchen, making as many of those packaged survival meals as she can before. Oh no no, just drop just drop them on the floor, Jen. Yeah, just, just drop them, Jen. Where'd it go? Oh, she's got it in her, in her inventory. Okay. Let's 
Sweet. Okay, so we need a bit more steel for the pods. Trade caravan is leaving, so that's the one over at White Forest. Yes, probably, uh, Mr. L Mr. Love. Some some counselling would not go, uh, would not go unwanted here here at this colony, considering one of our colonists is quite literally wearing the skin of his enemies. <laughs> right, so people are waking up. Jen has been working all night. Well done, Jen. That's good enough. You can go to bed. No, don't touch the. No, don't touch that either. Thank you. Go eat nutrient paste. That's for the away team. Okay. Right, so we need to get another another pod operational. Need more steel. Uh, how long will I be streaming for? So until another like another 50 minutes, 5-0. Uh, because I need to head off and get on with my job, which is YouTube stuff. For then people to yell at me about how I'm not doing YouTube stuff. Right. Oh, how long... Sorry, how long have I been streaming? Uh, about an hour and ten? Less than that, actually. Probably about an hour. How does the... Does the whole cannibal clothing thing affect the other colonists? Indeed. I believe... If I go to Maximo... Social... So... What does he think of... Mio? Maximo... Staggeringly ugly. Oh no, weird. Sorry, the... Okay, odd. The clothing does not affect it. It's eating people that affects it. And because Maximo hasn't eaten human in a while... Huh. How does the food paste machine work? Food paste machine. Food goes in the hoppers. Transferred into paste. And you only need, you only need about four units of food to make a meal. Whereas a simple meal, you need eight, I think. Or something like that. No, Shinderhans. No, 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 come on. So I wish, oh. Stop it. Stop eating the away team's food. Eat, eat nutrient paste. What's she doing? No, no, leave it. Make some simple meals, Jen. People want them anyway. Okay. Ten even, sorry. It's, it's, yeah, it's ten. Wait, hang on. What's a fine meal then? What does it take? What does it take to make a fine meal? Uh. Oh, hang on a minute. Do you want to have? Is it ten of both or five of? So ten. Oh, okay. So might as well do that then. So if if it's ten units of food, of say meat or veg to make a simple meal. And it's 10 units of food to make a fine meal, just meat and vegged. Vegged? Veg. They might as well just make fine meals. Yeah, they're nicer to eat. <laughs> the away team, give them red cotton shirts. <laughs> yeah. I feel expendable. <laughs> okay, right. Good, so uh, Gloob's just working on that... Um, Getting us more steel. Just keep doing that, sir. Who's in the away team? I'm gonna send Gloobsh and a few and a couple of fighters as bodyguards. Oh, what? Somebody's shirt rotted. So it did. Oh yeah, we need to get Oh Vassal is making stuff. Just to add to that list, please add, uh, make some t-shirts out of alpaca wool. Mm. Don't know why I went, mm, but hang on. Yeah, make ten of them. Yes. So alpaca wool, which we're getting obviously from the alpaca, is it has it has very good insulative properties. So we got lucky there with the alpaca. We keep them alive, then we can, well, have nice warm clothing for this biome. 
Right, so Maximo is working on the second drop pod. So hang on, here was my confusion earlier. Ah, good, I did it. Okay, so now, so, so 300, oh, stuff on my hand. Um, sorry, we've got 300 kilograms instead of 150, which is what we had with a single pod set up. Good. Thank you, uh, Mr. Nipsey. Thank you very much, Mr. Nipsey. So, looking at this, if I were to send, um, Gloobsh, right? And then two bodyguards, so he's 73 kilograms. And then we'll send, um, we can send Vassal, the melee fighter, and then another one at range. In fact, no, screw it, we'll send Maximo. No, we'll send Karu. So the junkie bounty hunter due to her combat abilities. And one more fighter. We could send... Uh, I suppose we could send yellow. Porter. No, no, the psychopath. It's obvious. Okay, so that's 252 out of 300. So do the hat... In, in these pods, these two pods... Okay, four, good. So I can send... Yeah, they'll, they'll have enough food to come home. Right. Okay. But obviously I've got to plan for potential injuries. So I'll send a bit of uh, some medical supplies. In case, well, there are injuries. Can any of them handle med medical stuff? Okay, yes, they can. So, um, Gloobs can do medical stuff. Hmm. Sure, that works. So let's get ready to send them next morning. Mm. Oh, thank you, Roslyn. That's very kind, Roslyn. I appreciate it greatly. And I shall try not to disappoint. Which I'm sure I will. Thank you, Roslyn. Right. Oh. Okay then, so the colony ticks over. We've got presumably a few more components from deconstructing those dead uh, what's-its, those dead um, uh, mechanoids, along with some steel and plasteel. A party! Gloob just throwing a party. Everyone who goes will gain joy and social energy. Okay, there's a party going on. Thank you, Dog Tour. Thank you kindly. And what's a party? What is a party, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen? Without drugs! Sorry, that can be quoted out of context. I mean, what is a party in RimWorld without drugs? Um, okay, hang on. Drugs, 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 drugs. Okay, so, um... Do we even have drugs? We do have drugs! Yayo! Right, let's bring some yayo. So who can bring some yayo? Karu would obviously bring some yayo. Oh, well, she's already at the party. Ryoma! Come on, bring, don't snort some. Bring some there, hang on. It's like when you turn up for a party with some wine, except instead of wine, you bring heroin. Um, oh, can't do hauling. Okay, who can do hauling? Shintens, can you do hauling? Yeah. Right, everyone's having a party. Here comes the Navy scientist Shintens with some drugs. Right. Everyone's hanging out, talking about sandwiches, talking about hands, how much they, they love hands, holy shit. Yeah. Da -da. Yep, still talking about hands. This is the marriage spot, by the way. I rather like that, the two statues with some plants. Da -da 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 -da. No one's touching the drugs? I think they touch beer, don't they? I don't know if they touch drugs. Ba, 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 ba. Right. Da, 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 da. No, this is good. They get um, they get lasting mood bonuses, and each time you see this window appear, they they they're interacting socially. So this social tab will go up and down as they make friends and get along and. Or not make friends, as the case may be. Yeah, this is good. This is the colony of Tundrafall. A group of tribals and teenagers and cannibals and navy personnel. All of them, well, 
maybe they saw each other on embarking, you know, on boarding the cryo ship, but they never knew each other. Through circumstances, they were forced together, forced to rely on each other, and so they've become friends. Right. It is quite cold indoors, isn't it? Well, it's minus 51 outside. Yeah. Just get another heater in there, shouldn't we? It's fine. They've got they've they've all got like warm clothing on. They can handle that. Huh. There we go. Party's finished. Everyone goes for post-party orgy or into the rec room for food. I know which one I'd go for. Da -da -da. Da -da. <laughs> Sorry, I love that. They're eating fine meals. Kaz has got some nutrient paste. Kaz, Kaz is fine with the simple life. She's a former soldier, so she's like, ah, fuck it, whatever. Raw potatoes, nutrient meal. Kaz doesn't give a shit. All the same to Kaz. Right, fantabulous. So in the morning, we'll send Gloobs and his two bodyguards to talk to the tribals. Yeah. Da, da, da. So yeah, th there's a small dorm room over here because, um, well, this, the hydroponic, this, pff, geothermal, uh, you get free heating from it. So I just wanted to, well, even though I put heat heaters in the rooms. Why did I put heaters in the rooms? I'm not sure. Hmm. Oh, an aurora. A beautiful aurora is lighting up the sky. Its undulating colours will boost the mood of anyone outside to see them and make the night brighter. Ooh. I bet it's pretty out here on the tundra. Just, must, there must be beautiful, dazzling stars. The entire night sky just full of stars. Oh wow, look, the colours are even changing on the snow with the aurora. So the chilly, crisp air and just tens of thousands of twinkling crystals in the heavens. Okay. Da, 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 da. And in the morning, they head off. That was good. Yeah, nice, a nice party, good food. And in the morning, they depart. Thank you, coffee. Thank you very much, coffee. Karu is waking up, presumably to get some cocaine. No, to... Wait, why are the simple meals in there? Oh, I don't know. don't think they are. Hmm. Right. Cool. So it's five in the morning. Let them wake up. Let them get some breakfast. Gorty, are you causing problems in the chat? Okay. Every colonist of the male gender winters in pain. Some distant engine of hatred is stirring. Right. Wait, wait to spoil the mood. Distant engine of hatred. Why can't you be a distant engine of love and compassion and stuff? Thank you, Deadly. Some distant engine of that feeling of sleeping in on a Sunday morning. Be a nice distant engine. No, instead you have to be a distant engine of hatred. Or a distant engine of stubbing your toe on the small side of a on the side of a cabinet as you walk past it. Right, okay, so let's go to the pods and let let's load it up. So, uh, we're going to send so chief negotiator Glubscht, who is an eighty year old man who's surpri surprisingly good with words, even though he's deaf so he can't hear them. I shit you not. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, also he has dementia. So uh, so we'll send Gloobsh. Wait, d sorry, did I give Gloobsh a weapon? Uh, yeah, they got. An he's got a knife. Karu's got... Uh, hang on. They can handle the cold temperatures, yeah? And who was the last one? It was Karu, Gloobsh and uh, Porter. Yeah, they can handle it. Okay. Have they all got body armor? Glue, she might need some just in case the talks go south. Um, do we even have any? No, we don't have any. Screw it. Um, okay. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. 
Um, right, so Glooch and Karu and also Porter. So that's 251 kilograms. Uh, then we'll put in the fine package meals. So that's, we don't need all those. Let's reduce, so it's only a couple of days, isn't it? Distance. I'm sure they'll bring back the food anyway, right? Um, so send 13 package meals. We'll also send uh, a few medical things just in case something goes hideously wrong. We'll send some herbal ones as well. Uh, what else might we need? My dogs are dying. I'm not feeding them. Um, I don't think they're dying, are they? I'll double check. Uh, I think that should be it. Okay. Good luck, gentlemen and lady. Uh, dogs are dying. Uh... No, dogs aren't dying. They're eating. Don't know what they're eating, but they're eating. Oh, poor Daphne. Permanent gunshot injury. Hypothermia. Um, let's restrict the dogs to at least the home area so they don't roam too far from, well, home. But yeah, we do need to make some kibble. Jen, could you please make some kibble? Get some insect meat and make some kibble for the doggies. There we go. Right, so right now, our intrepid adventurers are loading the boxes of food into the drop pods. Okay, so there's Gloobs. Here comes Porter, the psychopath with medical stuff. Um, no bloody... If that's an offer, bloody steal, thank you kindly. Um, no, I'm all good. My, my Twitch subs and my patrons have been very very generous to me. However, if you were interested in doing so, the ZF guys, so if, if you click the ZF link, uh, the other guys I'm sure would massively appreciate uh, your support and donation. Oh, yes, uh, many of them are also making a stab at the streaming thing and I'm sure they would be absolutely over the moon for your support. Thank you. Um, hang on, so a large meteorite has struck the ground. Ooh, marble. That's useless. <laughs> Why couldn't it be like steel or something? Ah, uh, uh, it's not useless, it's just we don't really need marble. Can I upload the streams to YouTube? I'd rather not, Aquidneck. It's just, it would be like four hours a day. And it would just, yeah, every single day. Five days a week. It'd just be hours and hours and hours of nothing happening. It would just be spamming YouTube as a website with huge amounts of data. That just wouldn't be needed for any, any longer than it's on Twitch for people to watch. And, uh, you know, when there are highlights, I take those highlights and I turn them into bullshitteries, which are worth keeping around, I think. But, yeah, it's just... I, I, I didn't like the Let's Play plague that seemed to go through YouTube, where you, you click on a video to watch something, and it's about three hours of nothing. Thank you, General Esco. Thank you. Yep, radio, radio's been repaired. It's fine. Okay. Right, so Blue just loading up. One of the pods. So how, what do we need now? Oh, okay, so Karu is entering the pod. Okay. Why is Karu so slow? Oh, I forgot, I forgot some of her drugs. She'll be fine. She'll last, right? I'm sending 1.9 dead, uh, uh, no, they won't starve to death, they'll be fine, look, so caravan, estimate, three people, estimated time, peace talks, 1.8 days, we've got loads of food, easily make it, freezer doors open, no it's not, it's fine, thank you bloody steel, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, D-Wise. Or D-Wise. Okay, right, so. What are they doing? Porter. There's Glooge. Thank you, Goal. Thank you very much, Goal. Thank you. Uh, oh, good. Uh, glad to hear it, Goal. And thank you. Thank you. Uh, right, sorry, I'm getting confused. Right, so Glooge is... I see, Glooge is still getting the herbal meds. So speed this up. Come on, you, you guys need to go. It's already two in the afternoon. 
Come on. Uh, why is Gloobs the one handling the hauling? Package meal. Uh, a bad feeling about this. Hang on. It's taking forever to load it. Is Porter or Porter's not in the pod, but Karu is. Karu. Do you need to eat anything, Karu? Hmm. Sure thing, clever, but um, I don't think that's a good enough reason to. S uh, we all have a limited. We have a finite amount of time in our day. We don't have time to sit there and and. No, that's a bad, bad, bad point. My, my point is that YouTube isn't for four, five hours of just constant, just a, a, a playthrough with somebody talking once every 30 seconds with m nothing happening most of the time. It's for short, relatively short videos. Click one, move to the next one. Click one, move to the ne next one. I don't feel that uploading... What? Fucking... Just... Med oh, fuck, I don't know how many hours would be uploaded per month from me. But it would just be obs an obscene amount of just stream footage with nothing happening. If people if people want to watch that, it's on it's on it's on Twitch for months. Oh, is Kara gonna be okay? No. Oh Christ. Why are they taking so long to load the pods? Only one of them seems to be loading it. What's happened to Karu? She's had a, a drug withdrawal. Oh, can cancel loading the pot. Cancel it. That's a dumb way of doing it. Hang on. Yeah, cancel it. Someone pick up Karu. For some reason, it's just one guy taking forever to load everything. Okay, hang on. Critical storage location for meals. Packaged survival meals. What was the other thing? Oh, the herbal meds are there. Okay, hang on. Let's get that stuff over there. Um, we'll have Porter. Porter's rescuing Shinderhans. Yeah, haul those over to the place that they're going. Well, no, so my point is that more. This, this is what people are asking when it says, "Can you upload all of your stream footage to to YouTube?" Yes, I could. But why? It would just be hours and hours of just, of just nothing. Take out the highlights. Edit the highlights, for Christ's sake. Don't just put raw footage with no effort. Okay. Thank you, Equid. Nope, Shintens. Nope. This is what annoys me. They just grab the best food. Starvation. Karu. Sorry, Ryoma's feeding. All right, well the mission didn't get launched. Karu needs drugs, go juice. Do we have any? Ah, do we not even do we not have any go juice for her? Do we have any neutroamine? Shit, are we out of neutroamine? An eclipse that's going to shut down our solar. This is a problem. No neutroamine, no go juice. Means Karu's gonna be out of action. We're gonna have to send somebody else in her stead. She's gonna be in the infirmary. Psychite addiction as well. We have no yayo. What we do is over here, actually. Mm. Okay. Um. Right. Who should we send in Karu's stead then? So we've got Vas. Uh, could send Vassal. No, we need another range person. We'll send Maximo with the minigun. Yeah. Right. Hey. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Ah. Psychic drone is ending. That's good. One of our heaters is broken down. We finished making some jackets. That's nice. Oh, incapacitated refugee. Tomato contacts me on the radio and requests help. He's wounded and unable to move. Without my help, he'll die within five days. 
Oh, that's right next to the colony. Maybe we should have... What's that as well? Item stash. Less than a day. Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. Nah. Uh, thank you, Novi. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Three month anniversary. We're not doing that, are we, Novi? Let you... Please let you out of the sex dungeon. No. No, I don't think so. No, you stay in there. <sighs> Honestly. Also, thank you, Novi. Thank you. Right, so what's the time? So it's ten in the morning. Uh, right, so let's let's just stay focused and get on this mission for the peace talks. Um, so, so load group. Hang on. Okay, so we're going to be sending Porter, Gluge, and this time uh, Maximo. Okay, Porter. Yep. Yeah. Okay, package survival meals. We only need enough for. Yep, yeah, that's good enough. Sixteen. Okay, medicine. Send some medicine just in case somebody gets hurt. Okay, it should be good enough. Okay. So now, start loading the damn pods. Okay, good. Maximo's helping now. I guess it's because only a one... Ha uh, yeah, only a hauler does it. Can the colonists commit suicide? Yeah, they can overdose, yeah. Here comes Porter. Okay, here we go. We're ready. So, the mission is we're, we're going to head off to engage in peace talks with the Black Tribe, whatever, Black Leopard Tribe or whatever, um, who are over here. So, we're going to go and engage in the peace talks. Gloob is going to do the talking. Maximo, the cannibalistic doctor, and Porter, the psychopath, are going to stand to either side and look aggressive. And hopefully, we can come out of this with um, with with peace with the tribe tribals. Um, and then after that, we'll march back. Uh, we'll march back home. Here they go. Good luck. Off they go. Right. Godspeed, away team. Godspeed. Here we go. Transport pods have arrived. Hang on. Yes? No? Settle? Generating map. Okay, here we are. We've arrived at the peace talks. That's not good. Peace talks. Time left three days. What, until... Until they arrive, or until they... Uh, hang on. That's not good. Where are they? Where are they? Did I click click the wrong button? Peace talks. A site designated for peace talks. I have to enter by walking. Oh. Really? You can't enter by drop pod? Uh alright, hang on. Fine. Form caravan. Yeah, all three of them. Stupid. Items. Oh fuck, hang on. Yeah, pick up the items over here. Thank you, Maxim. Thank you. Thank you kindly. That's fucking stupid. Yeah. Take all that, take all that. And just go by the east. Right, yeah. Yeah, I know. Confirm. Okay, there we go. Right, so just get the, get the shit. Pick it up and start going. It's, it's only 31 degrees. It's relatively cosy. Off they go. Right. Okay. Yeah, somewhere there's a tribal laughing his head off. Ah, what's wrong? Uh, oh, the battery's out. Damn. We're out of power. Because of the eclipse, it shut down the solar, which means we're running only on the hydrothermal, and we don't have a great deal of hydrothermal. Oh, dear. Does that mean our hydroponics are going to... Oh, wait, the hydroponics are online. Hmm. Just send them to a nearby and let them rest for a bit. Yeah, yeah. So they're going to leave. 
like so. Okay, come on. All ass. Chop, chop. Shindahans, the Navy scientist, has gone for a sad wander throughout the main corridor. Okay. Caravan is ready. Lovely. Okay, so there we go. They're going to walk over there. Then they can walk. There we go. Visit. I see. Visit Peace Talks. There we go. Right. Peace Talks. Oh, the talks floundered. Delegates managed to communicate clearly and with basic respect, but were not able to make progress on any genuine issues. Relations with the Black Badger Lekol remain unchanged. Gloobsh, your negotiator, has gained 6,000 social experience. Ah, sweet. So you actually get a, a reward, a specific reward. Even still, the talks floundered. Bugger. Right, um, split, settle, no, I don't give a shit about this place. Just a random location I didn't mean to settle. Um, right, okay, in which case, just trek home, boys. Yeah, off you go. Yeah, so 1.7 days, you've got loads of food. Just start trekking home. Um, yep. Fuck. Oh well, well at least um, Gloob's got some experience. Yeah. Damn, we're losing hydroponics. Ah. Uh, can we harvest some, any of it? Before it goes, please. Harvest! Fast! Run, Dragoner! Run! Quick, just, just start pulling rice up! Just pull, yep, just rip up the rice from the hydroponics bay. Pull it up, pull it up. With no power, it's losing health and the plants are gonna start decaying. Yep, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Ah! Ah! That's it, just pull it all up. Put it all up. There we go. Oh wait, it's the evening. Shit, I didn't need to do that. Oh, it's fine. Too late. Oh no, wait, it's 95% grown anyway. Fuck it. Yeah, that works. Sweet. Okay. Do I have or have I ever played any instruments? No, not really. Not much of an instrument, an instrument person. <sighs> oh, lots of bricks now. Sweet. Loads of slate. Holy shit, biscuits. Um, okay, sweet. So I can build a bunch of walls and stuff. Okay, so I should probably start planning out this other area over here. Right. What's the time? So in 18 minutes, I've got to go. Um, he probably floundered after he was done explaining why his name was Gloobsh, and the natives wouldn't stop laughing. Well, yes, I, I, I feel it's going to end quite badly for the native, the tribals, though, considering they're tribals, and we are, well, we've got miniguns, about three of them. Hmm. Gordy says, I only play the meat flute. I... Uh, I don't know what what no no just no no <clears throat> just no Snee family thank you Snee family also who the hell calls it a meat flute where did you get that from that's weird you're weird right okay um yeah so at least well we'll start putting down some basic walls and stuff I can always modify this later it doesn't have to be permanent Go. Mm. But yes, I would deadly. Mm. I would highly recommend this game. It's very, very absorbing. Okay, so how can I ab yeah abandon that location? We don't need it. Thank you, Mega Grunt. Thank you. Oh, a raid. Okay, okay, ah, uh, right, okay. Thank you, Scalio, thank you. Okay, so apparently a food taster at the age of 46, thank you, Matman, thank you, um, has arrived at, um, at White Forest, the abandoned lumber camp with some grenades, looking to bust in, set fires, and generally cause mischief. Is there anything I really care about losing? Not really. All of this can be replaced next spring, which is tomorrow. 
So perhaps we should defend it. Perhaps we should send... Nah, just, I don't care about this. Look, it's just a bit of steel. He's not going to destroy the steel. He'll steal it at best. Steal the steel at best. Yeah, this is just... Yeah, who cares? Muffalo leather bedroll. Two works of art. No one cares. Let's see what he does, though. Does, can he resist the temperatures? Oh, of course. It's, um, it's a milder temperature down south. Okay. Yeah, so it's a it's a raid. Is the sub noise really loud? Sorry, I'll just I'll just I'll just deal with that. Uh, yeah, it is. Sorry, I don't know what I don't know what happens. It keeps getting turned up. It's weird. Oh, sorry, uh, Dad, Danji. Spring has begun. Excellent. The temperatures will be more favourable for growing. We'll occupy uh, white forest and just set up some farms and stuff. What's he gonna do? He's going to throw some grenades at the main door, which is only made out of wood. This is just a planned area. Hmm. Good job there. Oh, is that neutroamine? It is. Damn, we forgot to bring home some neutroamine. Hmm. Okay, what's he going to do? So Fox, realising that the place is abandoned, approaches this door to open... Is he far enough away from that? Yeah. He goes to open this door to see what's inside. It's just a bunk where we were sleeping to keep warm. Okay, now that it's open... He decides to punch the crap out of a piece of art. Frustrated with his own ina inadequacies at the age of 46, he became a food taster on a, on a glitter world, which is pretty much like as menial as it becomes, as it gets on a glitter world. Then he joined this cryo ship. He wanted to explore brave new worlds and ended up here alone because nobody wanted to hang out with him because he's a slowpoke. And so here he is alone. No, he decided to start his own raiding clan. Yes! They'll call it the Foxes. And so he called himself Fox because of it. It would be the Foxes. And he's going to raid and be successful and amazing. And this is his first raid. He's excited. He's not. He's a bit nervous, but he's very excited. And he, he's not entirely sure what he's doing. But it's the confidence that, you know, confidence is what matters. It's not necessarily if you know what you're doing. It's all about how you look, you know, when you do it. So here he is throwing grenades. He feels good about himself. Oh, yes. Yes. The rise of the Foxes. Fuck you, random butchery t butcher's table. Yes. Yes! He's expended large quantities of probably quite rare ammunition on inanimate objects, a door, a work of art. Okay. It's a she? I'm so sorry, it's a she. I thought it was a bloke. Go, Fox, go! You can do it! All these people who doubted you. You show this completely undefended and unprotected uh, farming location that's used once a year. Yeah. What are you gonna do now? She's gonna. Th I don't know what you do. Throw grenades at the other at the other pod launcher. Thank you, Veggie. Thank you. Just kind of, kind of over again the pudding now, Fox. I think you've made your point. Yeah, fuck you, bedroll. <laughs> fuck you, pod launcher. Oh, oh, okay, so Fox has found a generator. Ah, this this will show all these people that laughed at her when she was younger. Okay. Uh, fuck you, horseshoe pin. You have no idea what you're doing, do you, Fox? Yeah, I, I, I would drop, I would drop on her head and punch her and capture her, but um, but she's already destroyed the uh the pod launchers, and we have limited fuel. Yeah, I should, I need to ration the fuel that we have. I've got enough for two launches at best. So I shouldn't throw them away. 
We'll wait until the temperature's a bit more favourable at White Forest. Okay. Yeah! Go! You're a big tough raider. Ah! <sighs> now, the question is, what is Fox going to steal to commemorate this occasion? Because typically, at the end of a raid, a raider will steal something or abduct somebody. Oh, one of our auto doors has broken down. So what is... Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Destroying that. Fail. Oh, what's this? Oh, no. Shindon's has collapsed. Are you okay? She's starving. Fuck. Did I overexert her? Shit. Go get some food. Sorry, Shindon's. Was that me? Okay. Anyway, back to Fox. The intrepid raider. Okay. Am I going to save the tomato bloke? I can't really. Maybe. We'll see. Come on. I want to see what Fox tries to take. I think she's bored. Thank you, defective. Thank you. Come on, what are you going to pinch? Oh. So, yeah, when, when the raid timer runs out, they'll be like, hey, mission accomplished, and then they'll go, they'll go home. They'll take something. Oh, there we go. They're, right, they're leaving. Thank you, Twix. Oh, wow. The chem fuel explodes. Sweet. Oh, Fox didn't take anything. All right. Job well done. Fox goes home to a small hovel somewhere in a nearby cliff. Oh, there's a dead beaver there. Yeah. Oh, I see an old beaver. Yep, so Fox is going home to congratulate herself on a successful first raid. Hopefully this, this isn't the end of Fox. Hopefully. Right. And Fox set a small fire. Yeah, light damage. Right, I said, in the meantime, our extremely highly technologically advanced and successful colony up in the tundra is doing fine. We're all working together. We have access to delicious food, state-of-the-art miniguns. Look, Ryoma has time to make works of lovely art over here. Uh, that's being done. We have alpaca in a hydroponics bay. We have a hydroponics bay. Fox is probably like sleeping in a pile of her own poo for warmth. Mm. Item stash opportunity. Anti grain what? Anti grain warhead. I'm sorry, what is that? Prime Counselor of the Republican Treaty of Hattenor has informed us of a collection of valuable items not far from us. An anti grain warhead. Unfortunately, it won't last. The others will take the items. Oh, sorry, the others. Oh, sorry, others. Not the other. It's not lost. Um, we'll take the items in 19 days. Valuables tend to attract. Oh, here we so a tiny ultra tech warhead used by spacecraft or glitter world war machines, powered by a grain of antimatter, it generates a huge explosion and starts fires around the target. Can be fired from mortars, huh. or installed as a trap. Explodes when damaged. It's a big bomb. It's quite some distance away. Okay, this dude, three days to save that incapacitated. So the, a guy's calling us on the radio. Radio. He's quite close, actually, though. I mean, he's close enough that we can... How close? If we were to send a caravan to go save this dude. Form caravan. If we, if just, for example, three people. Then estimated time. Not point... Yeah, we can easily go to that dude. Can we get... How long until the away team gets home? Not long. So 0 0.8 days. All right, so when, when the away team gets here... We'll send him out again uh, to see who that guy is and what's he, what he wants. We'll also make sure we take some... Uh, say, oh, damn, we can't take wood for heat. We should take some building materials in, just in case he's got hypothermia with no clothing. Take care, Gorty. Have a good one. Can you raid other settlements? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Um, 
Hmm. What can... How can we generate heat for him? With no wood. Oh, we do have wood. Hang on. Temperature... 20. Damn. So we need more wood in order to... Do we have anything made of wood? Yeah, we do. We should break something made of wood and take it to make fire to keep him warm. Suspend chem fuel production. And break down the wooden stone cutter's table. Okay, we'll have yellow. No, we'll have Seamuff do that. Am I going to play Rising Storm 2 this week? Yeah, I'm sure, Deadly. Oh, fuck. Gloob's just wandering around in, in confusion. Yeah. Gloob does that. He has dementia. Don't leave him behind. The peace talks did not go well, unfortunately. Which is a shame. Okay. Mm hmm. Da, da, da. Oh, fuck. Damn. Why? Why still. Why do we still have low power? Any turrets left on? No. Just we didn't fill the batteries? I guess we didn't fill the batteries. That's, ir that's irritating. Well, I can take him some warm clothing, Poxy Brit, but if he's incapacitated, I can't put them on him. So if he's bedridden, there's no ability to put clothes on him. So he'll die of hypothermia. In, in a, even if we bring him a bunk bed. Like a bed to sleep in. Speaking of which, maybe we should make a couple. How much? Uh... No, we can just use sleeping spots. Hmm. Okay, so let's wait for the away team to return. Yeah, they're just yeah, they're on the outskirts. They're almost here. Is it still the eclipse? No, the eclipse ended, didn't it? I guess we just didn't. The dungeon is too hot. Dungeon. What? Oh, are you talking about the sex dungeon? The one with Gorty and Novi in it? Ah. Well, fuck them. Mm -hmm. Ah! I built the walls out of a different type of rock. <laughs> different, wrong colour. This is slate and this is white. Uh, this is limestone. Hmm. <sighs> Where's Vassal going? Oh, one of our dogs. Damn. Cowgirl. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Yes. Awesome. A bulk goods trader, everybody. So, where's Seamuff? And a flash storm, everybody. That's less exciting. Pretty much. Is that on top of White Forest? Oh, yeah, oh, that's lovely. That's just. That's lovely, that is. That's that's very nice. Right, okay, hang on. Um, Seamuff, sorry to wake you up. Would you mind going and talking to the bulk goods trader while they're in orbit? Just run through. <laughs> Wake up nice and toasty and warm. Cold, 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 Ah. Fire. Oh, it's white forest. Right. Here we go. Right, so here's the trader. Oh, dear. So, um, yeah, what have they got? So they've got 3,711 silver. Let's sell. So do we have... Yeah, so sell this work of art and this one. Um... Got a bunch of oh, we've got loads of gold to sell. Ah. Sweet. Okay, hang on. Uh, let's go. Where's the scyther blades that I had? Ooh. Scyther blades. Did I not put them in, put them in the right storage thing? Shit. I guess I didn't. Um. They have some. They have some cows. Um. So if we if we if we kept a herd of cows, we could get some milk. That'd be cool. But uh, I probably can't feed them. I doubt I have the ability to feed them, really. I don't have grazing areas, and I can't exactly stuff them in the <laughs> stuff them in the uh, the pod launchers. Can you imagine that? Just get in there, squish a cow in there. She's going. Whoa. Right. Um, hmm. 
Right, hang on. So let's buy all of their components. They've got 20 of them. Uh, let's buy all their neutro... Ah, no. Uh, hang on. 60 neutro me, not all of it. Ah, they have chem fuel. Buy 600 chem fuel. Yikes, this is super expensive. Okay, I wasn't expecting... Oh dear. Okay, hang on. Um, hmm. Can we afford all this? So sell the thr... Uh, no, I want the thrombo fur. Buy some medicine. Ah, uh, it's like 3,000... Oh no, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't check my own silver reserves. I got loads of silver. I got like 6.4 grand. Hmm. Okay. Buy some steel. Four. Yeah. Okay. Right. Sell that jade. Don't care. Um. Right. Sell a bunch of slate blocks. We got loads. Okay. Cows are just worse, worse muffalos. Yeah. Um. Okay. Sorry, from the top, I'm getting... Oh, hang on, some wood. Let's buy a little bit of that so we don't have to deconstruct the other thing. Okay. Bop, 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 bop. Uh, I can't, I can't remotely send them, Sergey. Also, I don't want to defend the hunting lodge all year round. Hmm. Yeah, I'll sell the gold. Right, okay, so... Don't need that. Keep the insect meat for kibble. Don't need food. Thank you, flaming. Thank you. Okay, sell a lot of the, a lot of the leather. So keep the beaver skin. Sell the alpaca hide. The capybara skin. Uh, keep the alpaca wool. Uh, sell the Labrador fur. Oh. Keep the human leather because reasons. Um, okay. Sell the thrombo fur. Nah, keep the thrombo fur. We can make stuff out of that. Um, sell... Sell some plasteel. How much? Minus 300. Okay. I think that's good. And sell a bit of gold. Minus 200. Okay, so that will only cost us 1,126 silver. And we have 6,490. Hooray! There we go. Woohoo! Neutromine, steel, wood, chem fuel, components, medical supplies. Ah, lovely. Okay, haul that. In. Yeah, haul that in before it um, well deteriorates. Okay, sweet. Lovely. Okay, the time. Yes, it's two minutes past one, so I probably need to head off now. Um, where's the away team? Are they almost back? They're almost back. So 0.4 days. Okay. Da 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 da. Just bring all that stuff in. La 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 la. Oh yes, get additional pod launchers going. Gloobs is no longer confused, which is good. Okay. The human leather? No, no, we made that. <laughs> we, we we tore up some bandits. Right, where's the away team? What did I do for Valentine's? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Just normal day for me. Nothing, nothing uh, notable about that day at all. Nothing. Thank you, Rover. Thank you. Right, okay. Uh, oh, fuck, I got rid of the table. Box. Never, mi never mind. I'll get that back later. Okay. Yep, yep, we, w we will try to help Tomato, the dude who's over here. So two we've got two days to get there. There should be plenty of time, particularly with the drop pods. Let's just get the caravan back first. Yeah, they're arriving. So 0 0.1 days. Here they come. Can I do a recap? Well, yeah, basically, yeah, so we've just been surviving the fourth winter. Ooh, cargo pods. Damn, back at White Forest. Lots of food back at White Forest. Maybe it'll stay frozen, maybe it won't. Oh, dear. That's the flash storm that did that. That's not, um... That's not, uh, Fox. 
Um, yeah, so we've just been surviving the fourth winter. We've been... Well, we've had a single attack in the form of mechanoids that we easily defeated. Nice. We sent an away team. Where are they? To engage with peace talks with the Black Leopard, whatever they are. Where are they? Yeah. Oh, here they are. So, yes, we sent Maximo, Porter, and Gloobsh off to negotiate, and that failed. But Gloobsh got... Six... Uh, what was it? 6,000 social points? Oh, nice. Okay. That's barely anything. Oh, come on! What? Right, pretty, really, pretty much on top of the base, a psychic ship. Okay, <laughs> is that? Oh, it's it's on the minimum range of the mortar. Oh, I, oh, god damn it. Okay, psychic robots, bigger problem. Right now, we need to deal with the psychic robots. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm gonna have to deal with that later. Um, right, so I'm I'm gonna bugger off and um. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I need to get on with the YouTube editing. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna head off now. So uh, thank you for watching. Um, yes, I, I realise that the streams are are quite um, okay, well they're quite uh, terse, aren't they? I, I, but I do need to um, do need to head off and get on with the editing uh, in order to pick up the pace. So between now and oh hang on, sorry I won't leave that on the main menu. I'll put up this image instead. Right, I did not commission this. Bubu Bu Bu Dingo made this on her own. I did not commission that. Uh, the <laughs> it's uh, Lulu with the heart of the ocean. Um, but uh, yes. Uh, what, what was I saying? Um, yeah. So I'm I'm just gonna keep going with the editing. So the current bullshittery episode is Mountain Blade Warband, and it's about 25 minutes long, and I've done about seven minutes. So there's plenty still to do. I'm gonna keep working. So I've been working on it for three and a half weeks now. So I'm just gonna keep chipping away on it, basically. Um, so yeah. Um. That's that's what I'm gonna go and do. So um, so I'm just reading the chat. <laughs> yeah, they're reacting to the Lulu image. Yeah, she's curled up behind me on the sofa. Mm, you okay, sweet pea? Hang on, if I turn the camera around. Hang on, ah, I just need to plug it in. Huh. So one second. Okay. Yeah, she's just she's just snoozing on the sofa. So she went for a long run. She had a good play with some puppies that she met this morning. So she had a good run round, playing with the puppies. Yeah, she's fine. She's her. She's her, She's quite comfy on her nice fabric sofa, which she's pretty much claimed for her own. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, she's fine. Um, right. So yes, anyway. Uh, so I'm going, yeah, so as I said, going to bugger off, but, and, um, going to bugger off and get on with the, uh, get on with the editing. So, um, yeah. Right, hang on a second. Oh. Let's have a look and see. Right, so Edberg is going and Caff is going. Right. What's Caff doing? Caff is doing some PUBG with Edberg, I think. Hang on. Okay, so it's Caff. Edberg, Sombrero, and Tweeday, who are playing together in a group of four. So I'll hand you over to Caf. So I'm going to host him up. So feel free to watch. Uh, so it's two ZF and two non ZF, and um, yeah, you can feel free to hang out in their chat and call shit and stuff. So um, yeah, so this is ZF Caf. He cannot drive, and he constantly talks shit. Uh, those are his. Uh, those are his contributions to ZF. So take care. See you soon. I'll be back at eight o'clock for some some divinity um, with the guys, with Quebec and Digby. Uh, if I don't see you then, well, and even if I do, have a lovely, lovely afternoon.